Dear students, welcome to Impulse Master Classes, which is a program designed for 10th class students. I am Y Venkateddy, known as YVRs are in the students community. I have 20 years of experience in physics teaching for advanced students. Now I am working with Impulse Institutions Hyderabad. So today we are going to discuss the relation between the resistance, resistivity, length and area of cross section of a conductor. Let us look at this question to find resistance of the cuboid. This question is a cuboid with length L, width B and height H. The question is find the resistance of the cuboid with the given dimensions and rho equal to resistivity of the material of the cuboid and your options are option A rho L by BH, option B rho B by HL, option C rho H by LB and fourth option is data is insufficient. All of you try to solve this question seriously for few minutes. Most of you would have get the answer as option A, option B or option C. Actually the correct answer is option D, data is insufficient. So most of the students answered it wrongly because they do not know how to apply the formula R equal to rho L by A. In this formula many students do not know what is length, what is area of cross section of a conductor. Now I am going to explain how to measure L, how to measure area of cross section in this video. Here L equal to length of the conductor and length of the conductor is measured in the direction of current flow. How to find the direction of current flow? A current will flow from higher potential to lower potential. So without mentioning where the battery is applied, which, between which points the battery is applied, there is no meaning of length. So now here capital A is area of cross section. What is the area of cross section is? The area of cross section is measured in the direction perpendicular to the current flow. Now I will explain you how to measure L value, how to measure area value in this example. As I told you the L value and A value depends on the points where the potential difference is applied. According to the points where the potential difference is applied, there will be three answers for this question. For example, the battery is applied between point P and point Q. At point P higher potential is applied, at point Q lower potential is applied. That is between the faces. 2, 3, 6, 5. For the phase 2, 3, 6, 5, higher potential is applied. For the phase 1, 4, 7, 8, lower potential is applied. And you know, current flows from higher potential to lower potential. That is, the current flows along the line, vertical line, P to Q. So, in that direction, P to Q, we measure the length. What is the area perpendicular to the current flow? Obviously, the area perpendicular to the current flow is the phase area 2, 3, 6, 5 or the face area 1, 4, 7, 8. Therefore, in this example, L equal to measured from P to Q, which is H. And area of cross section is the area which is perpendicular to the current flow, which is perpendicular to the line PQ, which is equal to area of the face 2, 3, 6, 5, or the face 1, 4, 7, 8, which is equal to L into B, A equal to L into B. Therefore, the resistance of this material is R equal to rho L by A L B is the correct answer. Suppose if the battery is applied between the terminals R and S, at point R positive terminal is applied, at point S negative terminal is applied. That means we have applied positive terminal to the phase 1, 2, 5, 8 and we apply negative terminal to the phase. 3, 4, 7, 6. And you know, electric current flows from higher potential to lower potential. That is, the current flows from point R2 towards point S. They measure the length of the conductor along the current flow. Therefore, the length is distance between the faces 1, 2, 5, 8 and the phase 3, 6, 4, 7, which is L. Here, L equal to L. And uh, area, capital A, is the area which is perpendicular to the direction of current flow and the area which is perpendicular to that RS line is the area of the phase 1, 2, 5, 8 or the phase 3, 6, 7, 4 which is equal to B into H, A equal to B into H. In this case, the resistance of the conductor is rho 
L by B H. So in the next case, suppose we apply the higher potential to the phase 1, 2, 3, 4 and the lower potential to the phase 5, 6, 7, 8. And as you know, current flows from higher potential to lower potential. The current flows from starting from the phase 1, 2, 3, 4 to the phase 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, length here is L equal to B as we measure length along the current flow. And uh, the cross section area, the cross section area is the area which is perpendicular to the current flow. Obviously, the area is area of the phase 1, 2, 3, 4, which is H into L. Therefore, resistance in this case, resistance of same cuboid in this case is rho L by A, which is equal to rho into B by H L. So now let us come back to the original question I gave. Find the resistance of the cuboid with the given dimensions rho is equal to resistance of the material. According to the points where we applied the potential reference, the answer may be A or B or C. Here I did not mention anything about where the potential difference is applied. Therefore, actually the question is not completed. Therefore, the answer is data inception. Students, it's time for you to solve a problem. In an aluminium bar of square cross section, a square hole is drilled and is filled with iron as shown in the figure. The electrical resistivities of aluminium and iron are 2.7 into 10 power minus 8 ohm meter and 1.0 into 10 power minus 7 ohm meter respectively. The electrical resistance between the two phases P and Q of the composite bar is option A 2475 divided by 64 micrometers micro ohm and option B 1875 divided by 64 micro ohm option C 1875 divided by 49 micro ohm and option D 2475 divided by 132 micro ohm. In this master class we understood thoroughly how to apply the formula R equal to L by A for finding the resistance of a material. I hope you like the class. See you in the next class. Thank you.